All right, ladies and gentlemen, the birch box has arrived. The mailman just came, so I'm going to do an unboxing. Here we go. Pretty. It's the same all the time. Well, the holidays, I think they jazz it up a bit. But here we go. I don't know what I got. Like I said, just let me just open it. Alright, let's see what we got. There's a little card. What's this? The Open Road Birch Box Man, June 2016. Good sir, whether you favor a hammock or a California King, a vintage. Uh, what the hell is that? Leaka? Or a selfie stick? I don't know. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Tourists and travelers have only one thing in common. They have a they have to pack smart. The right bottle in your drop in your dop dop kit can save an entire vacation. And fresh socks can prove more valuable than a pocket knife in the wilderness. I should have my glasses on, I guess, but I don't. So however you're hitting the road this summer, here's to a well stocked ruck, rucksack? Rucksack. These are new words to me. I never heard of a rucksack, whatever the hell that is. But anyway, everybody probably knows what a rucksack is, but me, I'm guessing some kind of a bag. Anyway, Bala, Bala, body products for men, body powder. I'll run through them real quick, show you what I got. Then if you feel like watching, you can continue to watch or you can shut it off. Throw me a, a thumbs up, subscribe, then you can shut it off. And then I'll run through everything. I'll smell them and whatnot. But let me just show you what I got first. A fragrance, obviously. This is by English English Laundry. I believe this is Scott Weiland's line. It says by Christopher Wicks, but English Laundry, I, believe, I thought, I think is Scott Weiland from Stone Temple Pilots. I think that's his line, but that, that's a cologne it looks like. Obviously, it's for men. All right. Arrogant. What did I say? I'm having trouble reading today. Anyway, this is SPF 30, Kula. Classic Sunscreen Cucumber Moisturizer. Alright, that's that. So we got a, a cologne, a facial sunscreen. Hey, I don't really use sunscreen that much like that. And a powder it looks like so far. And here we've got Lumiere de Hiver, clarifying shampoo, I probably know I didn't say that right, high performance hair care, N4, whatever that is, whatever that company is, I don't know what that company is, I'm guessing the name of the company is N4, high performance hair care, I don't know, some kind of a shampoo, I just had a shampoo now I'm using from uh, Davi, Davinai, Davinas, I forget how to pronounce it. My wife knows how to pronounce it. I keep forgetting. No matter how many times I ask her, I always keep forgetting how to pronounce it. But that's that's some type of an invigorating shampoo. It makes your head tingle. So, but anyway, that's obviously. I'm guessing that's not what this is. I don't know if it makes your head tingle or not, or what it is. Obviously, it's a shampoo. Maybe it does. Maybe it don't. I don't know. Yeah, cool little thing on the top. That's nice because these those ones you get when you open them up, and you go to pour them out and it goes all over the place like especially this last one I got that I was telling you makes your head tingle and all that it, uh, it's a pretty thin shampoo and it comes out rather quickly so when you go to this doesn't look yeah this is pretty th much thicker but anyway yeah it just it comes right out all over the place you can wind up wasting it not that there's that much to begin with but yeah that that's nice all right so that's that and it looks like <gasps> Oh, knock around. This sucks because I wear prescription glasses. Obviously, these aren't prescription. They look like sunglasses. Obviously, right? Obviously. Knock around. Ultraviolet 400. Knockout UV radiation made in Taiwan. Well, it's not made in the U.S., but what are you going to do? Right? I mean... They're not freaking uh, Oakleys or uh, what do you want to call it? Ray-Bans or anything like that. They're decent looking sunglasses, I guess. Uh, let's put them on and see what they look like. Not too bad, I guess. Not really my 
style, but I guess they're alright. Like I said, I won't be able to wear them unless I was, especially if I was driving or something, because like I said, I wear a prescription, and obviously, they're not my prescription. So that's, that's those. Here's a little close-up of them. Alright, it says knock around on the side. Nice little, uh, yeah. nice little case, chintzy, but, you know, what do you want for, you know, whatever, how much. Can't see these being any more than a $20 pair of sunglasses, but anyway, regardless, they're a nice pair of sunglasses. I should have let them, uh, well, they don't really ask Birch Box whether or not, you know, you wear prescription glasses or not, because obviously if I check yes, I can't see them sending me a pair of sunglasses, but then again, you never know. But that's it. That's all that's in here. Uh, like I said, if you want to stop it, go ahead and stop it. That's it. I'm just going to run through and uh, see what these smell like real quick. And just, uh, I don't know, because I'm bored, that's what I'm going to do. But like I said, if you want to stop it, go right ahead. If you want to continue to watch, you can. Uh, if not, like, subscribe, and then uh, I'll be back with the next one. I've been getting these, but this is maybe like my fourth or fifth box. But I just really, I don't end up doing unboxing and re reviews or whatever. But, uh... Maybe I'll review some of the stuff. Maybe it's stuff I like. Maybe I won't. But uh, maybe from now, I'll just start doing the unboxing, showing everybody what I got. I usually post them on Instagram. If you want to check out Instagram. What is my Instagram? I don't even know. What my, my I think it's Tony. Is it Tony V. Vape? I think it, Instagram is Tony V. Vapes. Tony V. Vapes. T-O-N-Y-V-E-V-A-P-E-S. Vapes. Tony V. Vapes. And obviously, you can see why it's Tony V Vapes. Anyway, let's see what this is. What's it? The perfect blend of Bala for men's fine Italian talcum powder and subtle fragrance that will leave your entire body feeling dry, comfortable, and smelling great. Let's see. Now, this is a talc, so it's probably a little bit more thicker than your average baby powder. Ingredients, talc, zinc oxide, zinc Sterate and fragrance, obviously. Wow. Oh, wow, that smells really good. That smells really, 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 really good. It's clean smelling, but it has maybe a hint of like a, a heaviness to it, but not, it's not too heavy. I can't, I'm not good with smells as if to say it's got cedar wood, it's got a vetiver, bergamot. I'm not, not too good on that. It's something you could wear in the summer. It does have a really clean smell to it. I wish they would have sent me a cologne to this, if they make cologne or some type of a body spray or something. Wow. That's mad. I just put powder on or else I put this on. I usually put, in the summertime, I usually use powder after my shower. But, yeah, that smells good. That smells very good. Now, hopefully, I won't break, I doubt I'll break out from it. I usually don't have any problems breaking out from powders and colognes and whatnot. But, yeah, that smells really good. Now, let's see what's this. A fragrance by English, English Laundry, Arrogant. Can they be arrogant and calling themselves arrogant? I guess we'll have to find out and see how it smells. There's a little sample bottle. I got an Eng English laundry sample cologne from them before, but um, I wasn't crazy about the smell. It reminded me of, uh, I believe it. I believe it's called the male Jean Paul Jean Paul Gaultier Gaultier Gaultier. I don't know how the frig you want to say. It. But it reminded me a lot of that Lamel smell. It was kind of heavy. Not well, well, back when they sent it, it was a winter. It was winter time, so I guess them sending me a heavy scent. Now, this shouldn't be a heavy scent, being it's the summertime. I'm, it just it, it should be a nice, clean, citrusy, maybe type of a fragrance. I can't see this being heavy, being that it's a June arch box. So, let's see. Without getting it all over the place. I right, to give you a little dipstick. Nice little dipstick. See the dipstick? Creed usually does that. I love Creed, by the way. Creed samples usually uh, gives you a little dipstick so you can swipe them on you. Eh. Uh, not impressed. It's heavy. 
It's not a summer scent. I don't know why they'd send this in the box. It's the summertime. You got to send light, clean, citrusy, even type of scents. You, you know, uh, a good line is the um, oh, what is it? Aqua de Parma. They're a blue Mediterranean line, Mediterranean, however you want to say it. Their line, uh, they have some a uh, lineup of about five or six really nice, clean scents. Uh, I, I think the Arancia de something or other is one of my favorites. It's an orange based scent, it's a, uh, a Mandarin uh, based scent. But this is too heavy to be a uh, to be your summer scent. It almost kind of reminds me of the last one I got, and I said that resembles Lamel a lot. And uh, yeah, won't be wearing that. Like I said, I don't know why they'd send it. It's the summertime. You gotta send light. You gotta send light scents. All right, the shampoo we got. This N4 or whatever you want to call it. Let's see what that smells like. Nothing special. I mean, I'll have to see how it works. I mean, as long as it don't have to leave my hair feeling real, I guess. Well, I usually put conditioner in after I'm done. Washing. Why? Why wouldn't I mean? Well, I mean, I guess. I mean, I'd rather them have left out this kula, this uh, this cucumber uh, sunscreen. I don't use sunscreen like that unless I'm sitting around the pool or you know going to be outside for a while. But I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they don't make a conditioner. I'd rather them leave this out and uh, maybe send me the conditioner to go along with this. That that that'd be good. I would have liked that, but. It smells decent. It smells like a shampoo. Not, nothing special like, like as to this to where I say, wow, it really smells friggin' awesome. But uh, we'll see how it works. And uh, this Kula. Let's see how that smells. What's that? I'm assuming it smells like cucumber, some type of cucumber. Take this little foil off of here if I can get it off. I know, it's disgusting. Wow. Did I just do that? Yes, I did. Wow. Uh, no smart remarks. It's funny because I just tell my wife this. They usually don't put a lot in these tubes. And I did squeeze it rather gently, but as you can see, it came pouring out the sides. Like I said... I forget what I was using upstairs, but I really had a, it was the first time using the sample. I think it was some kind of eye cream from the eyes, and I was really, like, I, I squeezed it all the way, and nothing came out. It was my first time using it, and I just, I told my wife, I said, they don't put hardly anything in me. I really had to, like, get down into there and, like, squeeze the very tip to get something to come out. I said, it was about half the size of this bottle. It was about this big, the sample. I said, I mean, the bottle is as small as it is. Fill them up. I mean, you want people to use them and try them out. But like I said, this I squeezed very lightly, and it just came all you know, gushing out the top, but, uh, yeah, and I put it, I was putting it up to my face trying to smell it, to squeeze it, to let the air go up my nose, but I wind up squirting, well, you saw where it went, so, huh. that smells like cucumbers, what else, nothing else to say about that, anyway, I probably won't use this at all either, I'll have to, well, I'll clean that up in a minute, that's, that's about it, so, I hope you enjoyed. That's June Birch Box for Men. The Open Road. That's it. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, see you next time on, I'm going to guess, what's after June? July. July's Birch Box. All right. Have a good one, people.